Hey everyone, it's Dabakeb here. I just recently hit 50k subscribers and this milestone, which is pretty major for me, has sort of made me take a step back and reflect on my journey and how I got here at Overwatch. And I'm sort of thinking about my mindset where I was a year ago when the game had recently been announced. Um, no one was in beta at the moment, I don't think, except for maybe a very small group of people. And I remember thinking that Overwatch was gonna be the next big game. I, was, I wasn't just thinking it, I was convinced. I was 100% sold that Overwatch was going to be huge, like one of the biggest, probably top five games in the world. And I think, you know, my prediction has actually come true. It's wildly popular. It's one of the biggest games in the world. It's breaking records. It's uh, outing even League of Legends, which has been the most popular game in the world for a while in some locations. So I realized that where we are now, this game has been out for a long time. It's sort of past the point of reviews, but I just wanted to take a moment and just sort of appreciate the game. Just marvel at how well designed overwatch was i mean i remember i actually had to my friends weren't as convinced as i was that overwatch was going to be great they saw it, they were like eh, i don't see the big deal and i was like no this game's going to be amazing it's going to be one of the best games ever and here are the reasons why and since then they sort of converted over to the cult of overwatch they've discovered how great it is they love the game too so i just wanted to make a video and explain why I think this game is so popular, why it's doing so well, why it's one of the biggest games in the world right now. So I put together six reasons which, which I think are the core drivers for its popularity. Number one is the mood. You gotta keep in mind that Overwatch exists in a genre that is flooded with gritty realism. The FPS games have been overwhelmingly geared towards the grizzled marine veteran who's you know, edgy and serious, and he's got his assault rifle and he's gonna charge into combat and he doesn't have time for jokes or anything like that. And like the terrain in all these games are just urban wastelands, gray and brown, gray and brown. I mean, there are exceptions to this, like like Borderlands had a sort of cartoony vibe to it, though of course it was very gray and brown. So I realize that not every FPS is like this, but for the most part, the FPS genre just tends to be more serious, more gritty, more brown and gray. And Overwatch just throws that out the window. It's bright, it's colorful, it's optimistic, it's funny, it doesn't take itself too seriously, the characters are larger than life, and I think that a lot of people see that as kind of refreshing, right? All those sort of like gritty marine veteran stuff just sort of blurs together, you just sort of get tired of it. But I find this, real. I find Overwatch really refreshing, it's like a breath of fresh air in this otherwise um, overly serious landscape. I think players appreciate that. It's different, it's new, it's fresh. So I think that the mood, the overall aesthetics, the art team is just doing a phenomenal job. Like think about, like load up any random Call of Duty or Battlefield map and compare that to any random Overwatch map. You probably have, you know, an urban sprawl with a couple buildings that are sort of crumbled in Call of Duty versus Hanamura with beautiful like pink cherry blossom trees and a giant murloc statue and you know this giant cityscape out in the distance where you can see Mount Fuji and it's just a, a really strong contrast between the two. One's realistic, gritty, dark, gray, brown. The other one's bright, colorful, optimistic and it's just nice to experience. Number two, I think the probably this is one of the biggest reasons is that Overwatch offers a huge range of play styles. I mean, in most other FPS games, everyone's the same character, more or less, but you're differentiated by your gun. You're either Marine with assault rifle, or Marine with pistol, Marine with grenades, Marine with sniper rifle. So, you know, there is some differentiation between character one and character two and how they play, but for the most part, you know, they still do the same things. They still sprint, they still crouch, they still hide behind cover to heal. It's just, do they shoot up close or do they shoot at far? And that's that's kind of where it ends. Overwatch, the characters, the, the, the concept of using heroes to define gameplay allows for players to find basically niche speculations. They they figure out how they want to play. If they want to be fast and mobile, they can be Genji, Trace, or Fair. If they want to be tough and sturdy and slow and steady, they can be Reinhardt or Roadhog, Zarya. If they want to play more of a support role, there's Mercy and all the other supports. So Basically, the game just sort of accommodates the players and says, like, what do you want to play? How do you want to play it? And we will help you play the way you want to play. And th that just makes it so that 
you know, no matter what type of person you are, no matter what type of gamer you're interested in being, there's something in Overwatch for you. And then when you get sick of something, when you're tired of sniping, you can play another character which fundamentally reshapes how you're experiencing the game. I mean, Widowmaker and Tracer play completely differently. So much so that, like, you could almost imagine them being different characters in different games. I mean, Widowmaker plays more like a conventional Call of Duty sniper, right? You just hang out in the back and snipe. Whereas Tracer plays almost like a high-speed platformer, you know? You're dashing around, movement's really important, you've got a, a timing's critical. So there's almost that element of, yeah, like a platformer in an FPS game. So the number three reason why I think Overwatch is so popular is the explosive and cinematic nature of abilities. If you compare it to other games, other FPS games, basically the only thing people can do is just shoot and throw grenades. There are a couple of special abilities here and there. Like uh, what comes to mind is the Destiny specials, I forget what they're called. But uh, you know, you like throw a huge energy ball which explodes. So you know, they're out there certainly, but for the most part, they don't really hold a candle to Overwatch. Overwatch has a ton of huge abilities. So what ends up happening is instead of just gameplay being shoot, shoot, run, run, shoot, shoot, run, run, shoot, it becomes shoot, jump, fly, charge, teleport, heal, resurrect. And all these like wildly different abilities interacting in bizarre and unique ways leads to really cinematic and explosive moments where Genji deflects a Zarya ult and pulls the whole team together and then Hanzo shoots the dragon through the whole team and the two of those characters single-handedly kill the entire enemy team and you just don't really get those moments in a lot of other games just because they're lacking those hugely explosive and weird abilities I mean a lot of other games do have sort of like an ultimate um, I mean Destiny is the example but they don't always have the sort of middle ground abilities like the shifts and the E that Overwatch had, the shift and the E abilities. So those those just allow for really flashy, exciting, like jaw-dropping moments where two abilities will interact in a really weird and crazy way and you end up with something exciting and new. Okay, number four. Um, I think this is a really big one, is the hero-focused approach that Overwatch takes to gameplay allows the game to have so much personality and soul and it has actual people that you can connect to. I mean, let's compare it to like Overwatch and Destiny. Where, um, I'm sorry, let's compare it to Destiny and Halo, where basically every character is just a carbon copy of everyone else. You can't even see their faces half the time. It's just basically Marine Veteran, Marine Veteran, Marine Veteran number 5,263. You know, there's no real individuality. So there's not really a lot to grab onto. It's just guy with helmet, guy with gun. You know what I mean? Whereas with Overwatch, every character has such a unique personality, a unique aesthetic, a feel to them. Diva's playful and kind of bratty. Hanzo is serious and haunted by his demons. Reaper is a total edgelord. Reinhardt is larger than life and kind of goofy. I, I feel like the, the sort of the closest comparison we can make to this would be TF2. And TF2 certainly has unique characters, but they're kind of dulled and muted a little bit. Like, sure, they all have unique personalities, but they're not sort of taken to the extreme that Overwatch is. Largely in aesthetics, right? I mean, I, I realize that a character like the Soldier is kind of over the top, and the Heavy is also very over the top. But the fact that their aesthetics are sort of restricted to this, basically, normal clothes, you just don't have quite the same visual and emotional impact that you get from a Cyborg Ninja. Or, you know, a guy in giant armor or Junkrat with his body blown to pieces and his hair on fire. So, you know, when you play Widowmaker, you're not just playing a sniper. You're playing a, a sexy femme fatale. When you're playing Reinhardt, you're not just playing a tank. You're playing balls to the wall. Space Marine who charges into battle and takes no prisoners and is honorable. And Bastion's like this PTSD robot. Uh, who likes birds. I mean, it's just, there's so much heart and soul in these characters that we, as humans, can, like, grab onto these characters and say, oh, I like this character. I mean, if you look at Reddit and you see the thread where people um, post for the very first time, like, oh, Blizzard just released this new trailer for this hero. They released the Bastion trailer. You read through those comments and people are like, wow, I can't believe this video actually made me cry. And the reason is because there's 
there's personality in these characters. Something we can really like relate to as humans. Like we've experienced the same things that they've experienced. Um, you know, highs and lows and sad and sadness and joy and and that sort of connection makes the game more personal and makes you feel more invested. Okay, so number five, and this is a big one, is Overwatch has very tight team mechanics. Now I realize that there are a lot of other games out there that do have um, team focused objectives, capture the flag, so on and so forth. But I remember, um, I've watched every single video that the official Overwatch YouTube channels put out. I've listened to everything Jeff Kaplan has said. And the one thing that stuck with me the most is when he said something to the effect of he would play a lot of team-based shooters and what would happen is he would turn a corner and you'd see one of your allies and there'd be a moment where you just look at each other and you're like, oh wait, you're an ally. Okay, carry on then. And that'd be sort of the extent that you like interact with your teammates because for the most part, everything was just team deathmatch. You don't really interact with your teammates. You just, you're almost like competing against them to kill more people than they do. But there's no real teamwork or interactivity and overwatch completely throws that out the window because number one it's got heavily focused team gameplay objectives there's payloads there's control points so you need to work with your team to do that you can't just run around and kill people because that's just not going to do anything you've got to actually push the payload number two the extreme character diversity means that characters need to rely on other characters to cover their weak spots if you're a reinhardt you need a healer behind you. You need people behind your shield to deal damage to people far away from you because you don't have the range as Reinhardt to deal with that. But as like a soldier, you need the, the Reinhardt who provides cover to you so you can safely take out people at long range. So the abilities and character diversity forces people to rely on other teammates and um, people sort of interact with each other in sort of organic ways. You don't really need to force it. It's just oh, like, I'm a Mercy, you're a Ferret, let's just work together to kill people, and we'll fly around in the air and keep each other safe. Ferret kills people, Mercy keeps them alive. It's sort of a natural combination that doesn't really require voice chat or any actual coordination. It just comes about spontaneously because the mechanics work together so fluidly. And if all these abilities, these last five points, had been on any other game, I just would have been excited. I would have been hyped, that's it. But because this is a Blizzard game, I knew that this was gonna, that alone would push this game over the top and make it one of the best games of the year, uh, probably the decade in my opinion. And that's the number six point Blizzard polish. We just, we just gotta hand it to Blizzard. Blizzard polishes their game and they polish it and they polish it. Blizzard isn't really known for innovation. They don't typically do things that no one else has done before. They take old concepts and just polish it and polish it and polish it until it's perfect. And then when they do that one thing better than everyone else in the genre, they polish it more and improve it and take it to the next level. And then when that's done, they take it to the next level again and again and again. And that's why, you know, Hearthstone is the biggest card game in the world. That's why StarCraft is the biggest real-time strategy in the world. That's why World of Warcraft is the biggest MMO in the world. I mean, HOTS is sort of up against some huge giants with Dota and League of Legends, so it's not really surprising that HOTS hasn't been able to take over there. But just in general, I'm not saying that Blizzard is the best at everything they do. I know that there are a lot of other games out there that beat Blizzard in certain genres, but you just gotta you just gotta admit that Blizzard pours a lot of love and care and attention into their games. Rather than doing 20 million different things, they do five or six things really 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 well so you know when you buy this game you can look forward to expansions and community feedback and people complain about stuff and you know they put out videos saying hey we listen to you we agree this thing's bad we're gonna fix it here's how we're gonna fix it and they release it and then the community's like oh this thing's awesome i'm so happy you did this this is such a better improvement and they and then kaplan and the rest of the overwatch team was like good i'm glad you know a lot of other companies don't have this level of interactivity. When people complain on other forums, the moderators shut that stuff down. I mean, you know, I realize that Blizzard has done this a couple times in the past. I know they've done this on um, World of Warcraft servers. So I'm not saying Blizzard is perfect, but I am saying Blizzard is damn good at what they do, man. They, they just are. So these six things, in my opinion, are what make Overwatch one of the best games I've ever played. 
arguably one of the best games in the world right now. I believe personally that this game will still be popular in 5 and 10 years. I mean, based on Blizzard's support, based on how polished and smooth the game is, based on the fact that it's on all three platforms, PC, Xbox, and PS4, it's just, this game's here and it's here to stay and I'm so glad that I started this YouTube channel. I, I bet on this horse. You know, I saw Overwatch, I was like, you know, I got a feeling you're going somewhere. I bet on this horse by investing a lot of time on this YouTube channel, and it's it's working out for me. I was right. I bet on the right horse, and I'm pretty sure that this game is going to continue to be successful for the next five or ten years, and it's going to just dominate the FPS genre for a long time. I'm sure games like Battlefield are going to take a significant portion of the market share, but I think Overwatch is here, and it's here to, sh here to stay. So, that's my long rant about how great Blizzard and how great Overwatch is. I realize I'm a little bit of an Overwatch fanboy, a little bit of a Blizzard fanboy, but seriously, you guys, we love this game. This game's exciting. You guys are here because you like Overwatch. I just wanted to take a moment and just appreciate how how great this game is. So, thanks for watching. Dabacab out.